guest with me today. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. All right. All right, y'all, come on. Get kids ready for the Sisodra What new possibilities? Y'all yes, make some noise for my band, your band, it's our band. Y'all for the oh. culture! The hey! Come on! John Pop some drums! And the Lou Kenner all on guitar! And our musical director, Christopher Van Keith on keys! Y'all fellas, right here! Woo! Yes! How y'all doing? Doing good! Doing good. Doing good. It's a new week. It's a new week. <laughs> we are alive. We I are blessed it. and highly favored. Listen, y'all, today we are giving our flowers to the one and only yes. Cheryl Lee Ralph, Queen. a powerhouse in Hollywood. Queen. She has left an indelible mark with her groundbreaking roles in Abbott mm -hmm. Elementary and Dream Girls, earning her a Tony nomination for her moving performance. From her iconic portrayal as Dee on Moesha to her anticipated return in the Sister Act franchise, y'all, she captivates audiences with her talent and versatility. Off screen, Cheryl's activism through the Diva Foundation amplifies her impact, addressing critical issues and inspiring positive change. So cheers to Cheryl Lee Ralph. Today, we shower you with flowers. Yes. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Y'all make some noise. Yes, yes. Miss Shirley Ralph. Yeah. So with that, I need y'all to get all comfy. Uh -huh. Grab that bubbly uh -huh. beverage and uh -huh. let's get this show. <laughs> it ain't offering time. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> ah, hey, no. It's tea time, y'all. Hey. Sorry, guys. Woo. Y'all get this. So, Bruno Mars allegedly. <laughs> I know where you're going. Why are you laughing, Chris? I know where you're going. Bruno Mars allegedly owes MGM Casino 50, not dollars, 50 million Whoa. dollars due to unpaid gambling Ooh. debts. Now, I know it gets crazy in Vegas, but dang, 50 million? I just want to know how after 1 million wasn't paid, how y'all ended up giving him 49 more million? That's it. the part I'm confused they about. Got it. Well, they why got you it. Right? all the way to 1 million? <laughs> but, well, wait a minute. Once you get to a million, they have like Gamblers Anonymous and all of that stuff, right? Like, like, like they're that. not supposed to let you just keep going. So yeah. they're supposed to allegedly, allegedly. pay him ninety million dollars. So if he got to give them fifty, ooh, Jesus! Next, come on, Bruno. We praying for you. We hope it's that accusations. This is not true. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the United States Marine Corps is changing its dress policy for women. Okay. Ooh. It is now optional for women to wear hosiery. <laughs> With skirts. They messing with me today because I got holes on. Oh. But listen, now how in the world y'all about to be fighting wars in skirts? Let me stop. I don't. Yes. Whatever it takes yeah. for y'all to protect our country, <laughs> y'all do whatever <laughs> you need to do. It's actually for them to feel more ladylike during their ceremonies, y'all, yeah. yeah, yeah. and special events. I mean, do they get to wear heels too, or is it skirts and boots vibes? Thanks. What does the military do, y'all? Does anyone know? Hey man, what do they do? I think they, wear, I think they wear shoes like this. Yes, I with think like so. A, with like the a thick little kitten heel. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Thank you, Shantae. Come on. Shantae, were you in the military? Yes. He was in the military. Thank you for your service. Thank you for helping us <laughs> yeah. out. So the ladies wear shorter heels like an inch and a half. All right, so I love it. Anything to make us feel more feminine, right? Go ahead. Mm. Have what you want. While we have fight what, wars. All right, next. So, court filing reveals that 
former President Trump okay. struggles to secure bond for his $464 billions million billions. fraud case. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. $464 million for his fraud case. Now, Jesus. could I say a lot on this? But the best thing for me to say is... Say it. Next. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> y'all, Wayne Brady said y'all need to calm down with all these misconceptions. So after Brady came out as pansexual, mm -hmm. he says that people think that being pansexual is being an indecisive bisexual. Child, I don't know what all these terms are. So I will just say is eh, love is love. And we love you. Whatever you are, we love you. All right? So, next. Mm. I, actually, I don't want to go to next. I want to oh, talk to you oh, guys. Oh, let's stick here let's a little go bit. Here, let's go I was little hoping bit. you would <laughs> die. Do y'all know Wayne Brady? I do. You, you went to high him? school with him. He's older than me. So we went to the same school, but he's older than me. Okay, he went to. Yeah, yo, we both ain't got no hair no more. Y'all ain't got no hair. He's a little older than me. Yes, and he is just coming out and sharing that he is pansexual. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think about that, guys? I don't this think anything of it is none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I don't know him. I told you. I don't even know him. <laughs> okay, let's just go to the next. They're not going to answer me. All right, so listen, congratulations to the amazing NAACP winners from this past weekend. Yes. Come on, show them some love, y'all. Usher was named Entertainer of the Year. I mean, come on, after that. Of course. Come on, Super Bowl well, well halftime. Watch this. Come on, Fantasia won Best Actress in a Motion Picture, oh, yeah. Color yes. Purple. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Taraji won Outstanding Supporting Actress. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. And Damson Idris wins Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series. Y'all give it up. Come on, Come on. good Franklin stuff, Saint great right there. stuff. That's amazing, yeah. right? Listen, I think Fantasia is like the story everybody wants to see come true. And still, right? And She's still been through it, yeah. so much, and then it's just her time. And this is this is saying a lot. When it is your time, it is your time. Yes. Mm. It's your time to get your shine. Okay, now listen, it, talk yeah. to me really quick, guys. Who in this uh, in AACP award ceremony were you like really excited for? Excited something? for yes. I'm gonna have to say my boy Usher. Yes, that's Usher. The, the yeah, 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 you know what I mean. Woo. He keeping it strong yes. for my generation. You know what I mean. He is. He yes. really is. He is. I'm so proud of him. Yes. I mean, he's made a big comeback too. Yes. Because his career was kind of getting interesting for a moment because there was so much negativity that was going on. But I'm so glad that that was like brushed way like swept out it's gone yes. mm -hmm. this guy is such a really great guy and all the good that is coming to him i'm so happy to see it well deserved y'all know we crossed paths right yeah y'all yeah, know yeah. usher was the last one that turned around Tell when i got the yes. four chairs Tell on nbc it. the voice <laughs> and then he was like oh no you know that song <laughs> is not an easy song for folk to sing but listen by the end of the show usher and i were like this That's not cool. knocking heads but like bumping fists like like, he really looked out for me. So I'm so happy for him. Congratulations to, again, Fantasia. To Taraji, y'all. Taraji been through so much. Yes. She yes. deserves this, right? Yes. It's amazing. She should be happy now. All that crying, she should be happy now. What? What did you say? What did <laughs> you say? who are you interested she in be... seeing? Um... <laughs> my boy Usher, too. What did you say? Usher. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you got to cry. But don't throw it, but don't throw in the towel. But don't throw what in the said? towel. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to cry. And yes, she did cry. Those were her emotions. She shared with us how she was feeling. And feelings matter. Yes. People can forget what you say, but they don't forget how you make them feel. Yeah. So if that's how she's been feeling, girl, thank you so much for letting that go. You helped us so much. And look at you. You're winning, Taraji. At You're winning. Come on. Yes. So today's discussion, y'all, focus on a topic close to many hearts, the emotional journey of motherhood, particularly, particularly that's not an easy word to say, particularly the challenges surrounding postpartum experiences. Whether you're a mother navigating the complexities of postpartum emotions firsthand or an expectant mother preparing for the possibility, today's conversation aims to provide valuable insights and advice Diving into this conversation with me, y'all, please help me welcome out, welcome out Miss Leslie Pickard! <laughs> Oh, 
only Miss Leslie Pittman Thank looking you, fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Girl, give me all that long natural hair. <laughs> My give goodness. I'll give you some and I'll still I have wish. It. I keep going to the barber. My goodness. <laughs> So I look fly. What is yeah. that the word? Y'all don't listen to me. That's a different song. Listen, it's okay. It's I okay. know. So in your experiences, what role do societal expectations and cultural norms play in shaping the emotional experiences of new mothers, Leslie? Ooh, that's a really loaded question. It yeah, is loaded. Asking, like, loaded. Um, <laughs> no, it puts a lot, like society puts a lot on new moms. Like, yes. It makes us feel like we have to do and be all the things. Yes. Um, so that would be just my first answer because I could go into that a lot. But that's mm -hmm. the reason I made this card deck. You just had a baby to help new moms, like show them that one, they're not alone mm. and you don't have to like put all these expectations on yourself. It's so true, I love this. Mm -hmm. So this is your card deck. Yeah. And so when you're laying there with mm -hmm. the newborn baby that's crying mm -hmm. and you're learning how to breastfeed, yes. <laughs> you say, this is take a nap. Yes. So I pull out, take a nap. Mm -hmm. They say a, they say sleep when baby sleeps. That went, that's, well, I need you to read Yeah, this. yeah, I got you, I got you. It's so tiny, y'all. I know, I know. I need some glasses. <laughs> need I glasses. definitely can read, yeah. but this is so tiny to me. All right, yeah. read it to me. Yeah, so this one says take a nap. They say sleep when baby sleeps. That can be a challenge. So today, text or call a friend or relative to schedule a day this week where they will take baby for a few hours or maybe the whole night if Ooh. you're lucky. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Do you really have people that do that, that come and take your whole baby? Um, uh, yes, I am so, I'm fortunate to have a good um, community of people. In you my are life. so blessed. Yes, yes. Hydration boost. Yes, yes, so this one is hydration boost. Baby is sleeping, go drink a glass of water. Especially if you're breastfeeding, or ah. even if you're for, or formula, whichever one you're doing, you're thirsty. You know, you literally just had the baby, right? Listen, so, exactly. Uh -huh. With that being said, <laughs> y'all go get something to drink. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. Let's leave Pittman in the house. Take a nap, y'all. When the baby take a nap. I just took your glasses. I love it. I need my glasses. <laughs> Y'all, I am here with Miss Leslie Pittman, and she has these amazing cards for new moms, and they're called You Just Had a Baby. <laughs> so when you just had a baby, here's some really cool things that's gonna help you get through the process. Yeah. So Leslie, could you please tell us what are some common emotional challenges individuals face when dealing with postpartum experiences? Mm -hmm. 
I would say the main one for me was feeling really alone yes. and isolated. Yes. Not necessarily emotion, I guess, but it was just it was feeling, yeah, which yes. are, they're, they're, one, they're, they're neck and neck of feelings and emotions, but feeling alone and isolated and feeling like it was just me, but then realizing it wasn't once I spoke up. Right. Right. So. Realizing that you are not the only one that's going yeah. through this entire thing. Had you ever gone through it before? Because you have two children, I do. right? Yeah. So I have a five-year-old and a four-year-old, so they're like 18 months apart. Mm -hmm. Um, so with my son, he's five, I didn't really, it wasn't, I didn't go through any of that really, if I'm going to be honest. Right. And I say go through that, like any of the postpartum depression, right. mm -hmm. but then it was when I had my daughter. That you went through it. Yeah. Did something happen in your life that might have triggered it or you think it was just hormonal? The pandemic. It would. Yeah. <laughs> That will do it. You had the baby during the pandemic. Yeah, I had oh. her. Um, she was born in 2019, December. Oh, and then three months wow. later, the whole world shut down. Yes. And I was like, uh. uh <laughs> help. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, I went through postpartum depression as well. And it was with my very last child. Oh. And I just felt like, what is going on? <laughs> and my boss was kind enough at the time. She did some research mm -hmm. and she helped me understand why I felt that way. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I've never felt like this before in my life. It's a really interesting feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's a real feeling that most people don't understand because you look fine. Yes. But inside you just want to run from yourself, yeah. the baby, the yes. house, yes. everything. everything. <laughs> Run. Listen, so from your from your perspective, yeah. what are some key factors that contribute to the development of postpartum emotional struggles? Mm. I would, the, the thing, like I already said, not speaking up. Mm -hmm. Like if you're just keeping to yourself mm -hmm. and feeling embarrassed, mm -hmm. shame plays mm -hmm. a big factor, right? That's, a, that's an emotion in itself. Having a lot of shame, thinking, well, it's just me. Can I express that I, I don't want to connect with my baby or I don't like my baby right now? Right now. I love my baby, but I don't necessarily like them right now. Now, it's hard for me to connect to the baby. These are all mm. normal things, but going back to your first question, society makes us feel like as soon as baby comes out, I'm supposed to love them so, so yes. much. And, and that's not true. It's that not wasn't true. true for me. I can't speak for everybody, right? Right. And one of the cards in that deck is learning how to connect with your baby, right? Mm -hmm. Just doing simple things, if that be wear the baby, right? Mm -hmm. Or take pictures with your baby. Yes. Because I don't know if you can relate, Mrs. Sandra, but like when um, going through postpartum depression, mm -hmm. It's a really dark time. Like yes, you, it is. It's very cloudy. Yes. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So taking those pictures during that those cloudy moments, once you get on the other side, you have something that you can reflect on, you right? And knowing enough. that you overcame yes. that. Yes, yes, right? big time. Now, Leslie, you are a yoga instructor. Yeah. Did that help you? with like finding your way back mm -hmm. to being 100% you again? Yeah, yoga, like I've said, all the, I talk about all the time, yoga was my saving grace. Mm -hmm. It really, it helped me get back closer to God. Oh, I know some I people will say yoga is not of, of God and all of that. You know what, that's another conversation you need to come back and have <laughs> with me. <laughs> only heard that recently yeah. because I was so into yoga but let's not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I know okay you, yeah, yeah. yeah so it helped you get through that yes. process yes could you share some practical strategies mm -hmm. or coping mechanisms mm -hmm. that have been helpful for individuals navigating postpartum mm -hmm. emotional difficulties yeah first thing I'll always say because I'm also I'm a registered nurse by trade so I'm oh. always gonna shout out like do the you know the um seek the professionals right yes so if that be get a therapist that's one of the cards there love it even if you feel good get a therapist right things you can do at home you can also see your therapist at home but like doing yes. deep belly breathing mm. doing simple stretches right um, I have my own YouTube channel, Leslie Pittman, where I have my um, yoga classes there specifically Excellent. for postpartum moms. So there are a lot of simple things. Going outside, getting mm. vitamin D. Like yes. those are sim you know, simple things that we can do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Who knew that vitamin D was so important Very. in your balance, yes. your chemical balance mm -hmm. in your body, right? Your hormones, too. Yes. It, plays, it plays a role in how you feel hormonally Big by just stepping outside. Because I know me, if I don't go outside and my friends get it if I don't go outside for the day, like at, at least once a day, I'm not in the best mood. Really? And then I'm like, oh, I didn't go outside. You know, it's just a, Right, it's just to go get, do you know that black 
people mm -hmm. are more deficient yes. in vitamin D than yes. any other culture. Yeah. So we really need mm -hmm. to go outside. Of course, protecting our yes. skin from the sun, yes. but we need more vitamin D. The other way that you can absorb vitamin D when you're going through challenges like that is to just take the vitamin yes. itself, right? Yes, yes. But the sun, is the, the sun, best. right? It does wonders yeah. for us. So in your experience, what are some misconceptions surrounding postpartum emotional health? That it's not real or that you're making it up mm -hmm. or like, you know, just, you'll get through it. And it's like, but I'm in it now. Right. <laughs> like, I need to know how can I manage this now? And the biggest thing is having community, right? Yes. That's also yoga and community are yes. like the two and God too, right? Yes, of course. Are the things that help me like know I'm not alone. And I had I've had great mentors, mm -hmm. other moms that have already been through it. Their kids are older that I can talk with, and I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, so I can get through it, you know? Yes. So. And you don't know how long it's going to take yeah. to get through it. There is no date that's like, oh, mm -hmm. your postpartum is going to be over in two weeks. Right. It's like you just keep waking up, yep. doing the right things, yes. hoping that the day will come right. where you're back to normal. Yeah, because you get, they give us, you know, here in the U.S., the six weeks, right? And then you got to yes. go back. But it doesn't work in six weeks. Mm -hmm. So you I go back to work. You go back to work mm -hmm. with the depression mm -hmm. on you along with a new baby and anything else yeah. that's going to happen and yeah. come your way that you're dealing with. Woo child. Woo child. <laughs> I know, I know. It's they want us to be strong, mm -hmm. but we are. Yes, yes. There are just moments where we don't want to be. Right. And then there are moments where we just can't be, especially in postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. So reflecting on the journey towards acceptance and healing, what advice would you offer to mothers who may initially feel guilt mm -hmm. or shame surrounding their postpartum emotional experiences? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. To not be okay. Yeah. Like as <laughs> right? corny as it sounds, like it's okay. Yes. It's okay if you're feeling the shame, you're feeling the guilt. Also, that's where like I love um, when I do yoga classes because I you practice awareness, yes. self-awareness, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like being able to be aware of those emotions. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of a lot of us, we because we move so fast, 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 we just oh we just oh go into the next thing. Next. Yes. But like that's why I like teaching yoga classes and practicing yoga myself because I have that moment of stillness where I can yes. say, you know, I am feeling guilty today because I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my kids. But at least I'm taking this moment to acknowledge that. How can I move forward tomorrow? What can I do tomorrow? How can I rearrange my schedule tomorrow so I can spend more time with my kids, right? Yes. But the first step is being aware, having that self-awareness. <laughs> 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 I was like, okay, no, I'm your uh, little yeah, thing. We do. Yeah. Are we going to bring the meditation? Yeah. Now, you know what? From the outside looking yeah. in, let's turn around and talk to the guys. Okay. Now, Chris, Luke, Luke, can I talk to you, Chris? Yes, you can talk to me a You've little been, bit. Sis. Did you go through postpartum with your wife? Mm. Did, um, did some, Kawandra go through? Somewhat, somewhat. Not, um... She looked like she was fine, but she spoke with you and shared with you that she was having challenges. How did you find how, the way to support her. Yeah, there's also uh, physical um, attributes to her situation with mm -hmm. preeclampsia. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, and I was out of town, I was across the country, mm -hmm. and, and she was like, you gotta come back. Cause I left right after the baby was born, wow. uh, my last daughter. So um, she was like, no, you gotta come back. She's like, something ain't right. So I'm gonna go back to the hospital. Wow. Yeah, so we flew right back, and um, it was just, it was amazing to be there for her yes. and to see how she could come through. Yes. But um, after my fourth child, mm -hmm. we just didn't even know that there could be any other type of complications right. that we had never heard of. Like you make it through, you have them, mm -hmm. um, the kids are here fine, but then you never know what else is out there that you could come down with. You know, so it's true. It's there's true. So much now, out Leslie, there. do you find that to be true too? Like you're going through the postpartum, mm -hmm. your husband's dealing with it, but then there are other things that are adding to everything you're going through as well. Yeah, if you have multiple kids, like yes! you have to work, you're you're dealing with your other kids. Yes. You're going back to work, so there's the the work mm -hmm. stress. Your boss is like, okay, like you're coming back to a million tasks. Yes, like, just, it's a lot. So and then, do we really? give ourselves a break, then we're worried about our shape, our uh, figure. Was, we got to get back in shape. It's like, yeah. oh my God, we do it to ourselves, we do. right? We do, we do, we, we are do our do it to ourselves, yeah. but postpartum definitely 
comes and it hits you so hard mm -hmm. that when you get back up and look back what you've come through, mm -hmm. you're just like, thank you, Jesus. It's brighter. It's brighter. That's why we wear bright clothes. Yes! We're That's bright right. <laughs> over, the, over the dark days. Yes. So for partners and loved ones supporting someone experiencing postpartum emotional challenges, what advice would you offer to help them provide effective support and understanding mm. during this really hard time? Help us. Yes. yes. <laughs> I know. I was like thinking of like what my husband. I think it's just like as the partner, tell telling your your wife, you know, like tell me how I can help you. you yes. Know, please, like tell me. And if she says I don't know because I'm the queen of that, <laughs> you know, just being like, okay, well. Like, can I um, make a bottle for the baby? Aww. Like, you as the partner, like, you figure out things that you can specifically say, or you could buy the deck, right? You buy the you just had a baby deck. I like you that. Take on, you I take one out. I like that. How about you take a nap, right? So if you're ah. the partner, I highly suggest this, because I know as the partner, you, you, I know my husband, he felt so helpless. <laughs> And I was like, I don't know. I just, uh, like, so that's also. So that helped. This will help mm -hmm. a lot. Leslie, thank you so much for coming thank and sharing you. your story, your cards. You. We want all of you out there. If you're going through this, you are not alone. Yeah. You just had a baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all so much for joining us for the culture. We out of here. We out of here. Thank you so much for coming. Until next time. Come on, time. come on. Let come everybody on. just scan that, that QR code, code at the bottom of, of your screen. screen. It's right here. Because we got so much more exclusive content for y'all right here. That's only on the Sassandra Show. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. Coming to check us out with Sassandra.